Hello friends, this is TK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point Show. In this video, I am going to discuss one of the most requested art questions from my students. So, it is nothing but Pascal Trainer Program. Okay, so in this video, I am going to discuss about how to write a logic for printing Pascal Trainer. Okay, so now let's get started. Before going to start my Pascal Trainer pattern, so if you did not, did not watch my this video, this character pattern program that please watch this video uh, and the link is available in the description box so please watch that video first after that move to the uh, Pascal triangle pattern video okay so I am going to use the logic of that video okay so this program is very important to understand so what is the Pascal triangle pattern program this is my Pascal triangle okay so this is Pascal triangle it is look like similar to that pattern program, previous pattern. Okay, so it is very simple. So you can see here in the first row, I am going to print one. In the second row, I am going to print one space one. In the third row, one space two space one. And fourth row, one space three space three space one. And like that. Okay. In the fifth row, five and uh, five number. In the fourth row. 4 number, in the third row, 3 number, in the second row, 2 number, in the first row, 1 number. Okay. So, how this number is coming? So, this it will start from, always start from 1. So, this number will come from the top, and this number will come the top, and this number will come the top, and this number will come from the here, the top. Okay. So, like that, this number is coming, like that, this number is also coming from the top. Okay, so this number is different. So how this number is coming? It is the most important to understand. So if we will see here in the third row, in the third row in the middle, the third number is nothing but the second number. Okay, first and second number is coming. It is two. So this number is nothing but it is the addition of these two numbers. One plus one is equal to two. So now move to the this number. Now this number will come 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And this number is also similar to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So now move to the this number. How this number will come? The same. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. And 3 plus 2 is 1 is equal to 4. So this is the very uh, important to understand. And I am going to use the logic. Logic is nothing but formula so this ncr formula is going to work for us so ncr is, is nothing but factorial r upon r factorial into n minus r factorial so n is nothing but here rho and r is nothing but column value okay so n is equal to rho value and r is equal to column value so this formula i am going to use so as i already told you in this video i am going to do the uh, character pattern program. So please watch that video first if you haven't watched. So now I am going to write the logic for this Pascal Primer pattern program. Okay. So I am going to add a class, a class here. So first go to the solution explorer and add a class. I am going to add a class here. Pascal Primer dot CS. Okay. So this class I have added here so static word name so, I am going to write the logic okay so first it will ask to the user okay friends so what I am going to do here I am going to print the message and the uh, row value okay so, similar to the previous video so, most of the logic is my previous video but here the formula is the most important to understand. This formula is the most important. So, understand. So, here in uh, num is equal to convert to 232 and console to read line. So, okay, after that, we need for loop. If you have watched my previous video, then no need to tell you everything again and again zero i but here i am going to start from zero okay friends so 
who are going to attend the interview as a .NET developer or Java developer. This program is also available in Java. So I am going to print here and uh, enter C. So it will print one two one two and sorry one one and one two one. Okay. Suppose I am now in the next time I am going to enter four. So it will print four line. And the next time I am going to enter five. So you can see the output is as expected. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is my interview content my YouTube channel, so please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon because when I will upload a new video, you can get easily my, we can say the nothing but the link, okay, so you will get easily the link in your mail, okay, thanks. so notification you will get, so thank you guys for watching this video. Code of this video is available in my blog. Okay, thank you guys. And you can easily find this video in my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page. Thank you guys. All the best.